Dudhope Multicultural Centre in Dundee has a near three decade long legacy of providing health and well-being to its locals. Last, nearly last 28 years that we are uh, uh, giving service to the community, uh, not only Equid Marathi and, and local as well, that uh, we are giving that uh, health and well-being uh, project. Uh, that's actually a big project that's uh, included with our uh, dance, yoga and uh, Tai Chi classes. And also that we have got a lunch club that is that for elderly people and uh, who, who can't you know, socialize with the other places. So, so they come and they, do their, uh, they have their lunch and also they uh, you know, socialize there. And also we have got uh, that uh, before lunch that we have got classes for exercise classes for them. They do yoga, like Tuesday they do uh, Tai Chi and also Saturday they do yoga. But there is one particular project that visitors are especially missing during lockdown. Other project, that is the garden project. Garden project that uh, uh, most of the uh, you know vulnerable people or elderly people and who has got a health problem and, and uh, mental problem, they come uh, to the garden and they work there and they feel much better. So now in COVID time that we had to stop everything uh, and then we found that uh, all the elderly people children or all the ages people they found that uh, very frustrated turning that frustration into something constructive is very much in the spirit of the center uh, we are uh, not stopping the garden project uh, so uh, just uh, for maintaining the rules we are trying to keep the garden you know tidy and also trying to grow something there and now <clears throat> last project that we are doing at the moment that is the uh, to supply that uh, because that lunch club has stopped so we don't want to stop here so because of those people that who are vulnerable people they need some uh, you know food uh, and uh, so we are trying to you know provide them so Shohini can tell about that project. Uh, so basically in our project we um, we found out that there were a lot of the elderly people that are over 60 and vulnerable and they were not able to cook their own food at home and they were quite reliant on the lunch club food that we had offered before. So now because the lunch club was closed we decided to deliver free meals and we managed to get a fund from the uh, from the Scottish government about to allow us to do this. So this pays for the cooks and the ingredients and the delivery driver and makes sure that none of our members are uh, undernourished during this difficult time. Using these fresh resources when they are most needed demonstrates exactly why, more than ever, the centre has grown into a crucial community hub. Ian McNally, That's TV.